Voyager sending back terrifying data to Earth. The Voyager 1, NASA's farthest traveled spacecraft, is still traveling across undiscovered regions of the cosmos nearly 50 years after its launch. Scientists are baffled by the scary data that this famous space probe machine is sending back to Earth due to what appears to be a malfunction. Join us as we talk about the odd data that the Voyager has been transmitting back to Earth during its source space exploration journey. Scientists have been interested in learning more about the realms beyond since the Big Bang and that is what inspired the launch of the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 among other space missions. The Voyager 2 was actually the first spacecraft to launch departing from the NASA Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. On September 5th, that same year Voyager 1 was launched two weeks later, however, how did they switch places as twins? The weight of both probes is 720 kilos were approximately the same as a small car. Both of them were launched during a window of unique out-of-planet alignments that causes a slingshot effect to launch the spacecraft from one planet to another they have, however, had to move at various speeds and on various trajectories, and on December 15, 1977, the Voyager 1 was able to pass its identical twin because of this, and since it has been our go-to resource for learning about various facts and space-related riddles, the first spacecraft to do so was this one. When it began its Jovian imaging mission in 1978, it was around 265 million kilometers from our planet and sent a massive amount of photographs back to us. The Voyager 1 completed an outstanding 100H-hour stint beginning. In January 1979, during which it captured three 750 images of Jupiter's rotation to produce a time-lapse movie, showing 10 of the planet spins it had passed through the Jovian moon system in February 1979 and a month later it had found the little rings surrounding Jupiter Voyager 1, also made a unique discovery when it found two new moons named Thieve and Matity Corrective. Maneuvers would be made to ensure that the spacecraft is ready for its flyby of Saturn and to prevent a potential collision with. Titan 1 of Saturn's moons Voyager 1 also found four other moons during its orbit of Saturn, including Mimas Enceladus Tethys Dione, and our scientists opted to halt the Voyager planetary mission after the Saturn mission was completed and sent both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 outside of our solar system at a speed of 325 million m per year in January 1990, the new mission. Officially known as the Voyager Interstellar Mission got underway some of the most famous photographs in history depicting the Sun. And the majority of the planets were taken by Voyager 1 on February 14, 1990. While it was 6 billion kiln from the Sun, they are frequently referred to as the Solar System Family Photo. There were 60 total shots taken by Voyager 1, bringing the total number of photos taken by the spacecraft to 670. Despite the fact that Mercury and Mars cannot be seen in the photos for various reasons, in the end, the spacecraft's cameras were shut off to conserve power and memory. Before its trip to interstellar, Space in addition to the interstellar probes Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 NASA also operates the Pioneer 10 Pioneer 11 and New Horizons spacecraft prior to Voyager 1 passing by the Pioneer 10 on February 17, 1998. The Pioneer 10 was the furthest spacecraft Voyager 1 continued its journey for a further 14 years before it finally arrived in the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012 with no other space probes in sight to catch up with but NASA didn't publicly announce the accomplishment until 2013. Let's go to November of 2018. Both space probes have officially left the solar system when Voyager 2 crossed the Helops and entered the interstellar medium. Voyager 1 is thought to be 145 billion M or 1550 from Earth. It has continued to provide us with important information that no other space probe missions have been able to divulge since it entered the undiscovered territory. Beyond our solar system, the spaceship has spent the majority of its 45-year trip in space in good health, however, in Recent times experts have found some odd anomalies in its performance Voyager 1 is currently transmitting enigmatic signals back to Earth giving the impression that it is unsure of its location coordinates. There is a scary twist to the issue though normally scientists have pre-programmed Voyager to go into safe mode or sound an alarm into the event that it becomes lost in space but up until this point it hasn't additionally. Its antenna which transmits data back to Earth appears to be in. Great working order, however, the data it has recently been transmitting is suspicious. The Interstellar Explorer is functioning regularly, taking instructions from Earth and carrying them out, as well as collecting and transmitting scientific data. However, readouts from the probe's articulation and control system do not accurately reflect what is taking place within, according to a NASA official statement, what exactly is happening on board then every spacecraft that is headed towards Interstellar. Space including the Voyager 1 and 2 has a special 12 inches diameter gold-plated disc that is loaded with audio and video messages as a backup in case an alien species discovers the ship 35 Earth noises 115 life photos 90 minutes of Western music and greetings from former U.S. President Jimmy Carter and former U.N. Secretary General Kurt Waldheim are just a few of the 
Contents on the Space DVD, additionally, they are recorded in 55 different languages, so if it was taken over by aliens, they would presumably be attempting to decode the signal's thoughts that the spaceship is currently under the direction of aliens have been quickly refuted by scientists' Voyager's ability to function depends heavily on the axe attitude and articulation control mechanism for starters it always maintains its antenna aimed at Earth, so that scientists can correctly receive data additionally it controls how the spaceship is oriented engineers. Keeping an eye on the situations now feel that the axe is functioning as it should which just adds to the enigma we already face additionally none of the safety features designed to shield the spacecraft from danger have been activated according to Susan D. Project Manager for Voyager 1 and 2 a mystery like this is par for the course at this point in the Voyager mission the spacecraft are both about 45 years old which is much older than what was envisaged in the mission plan Soon D also acknowledges that the spacecraft's engineering crew will encounter some Significant difficulties in resolving the problem with Voyager 1 because of the distance between us and the space probe the challenges are formidable largely due to the spacecraft being approximately 145 billion miles away from Earth this immense distance introduces several complications that the team must navigate carefully a rescue operation is nearly impossible given the current technological and logistical constraints Voyager 1 is far beyond the reach of any spacecraft or repair mission that we could feasibly send the spacecraft's incredible journey has taken it into the outermost regions of our solar system and beyond into interstellar space where it continues to travel further away from us each day messages received from Earth at the speed of light take almost 21 hours to reach Voyager 1's current location this means that any command or instruction sent by the engineering team requires a significant amount of time to be received by the spacecraft this delay poses a sub. Substantial challenge for real-time problem-solving and troubleshooting. Furthermore, once Voyager 1 processes the command, any response or data it sends back to Earth will take another 21 hours to return. This implies that two-way communication between Earth and the spacecraft takes an average of two days. Such a delay makes it exceptionally difficult to implement quick fixes or iterative troubleshooting processes, which are often necessary when dealing with complex technical issues, the engineering. Team must meticulously plan and execute each command anticipating various scenarios and potential outcomes unlike missions closer to Earth where engineers can swiftly send and receive commands the long communication delay necessitates a more strategic and patient approach each instruction must be carefully crafted to address the known issues without causing additional problems considering the lengthy time it will take to confirm whether the Command had the desired effect the significant communication delay also means that the engineering team has limited opportunities to interact with the spacecraft every command sent must be effective and precise leaving little room for error this necessitates extensive testing and validation of commands on Earth before they are transmitted to Voyager 1 in addition to these logistical challenges the spacecraft itself is over four decades old having been launched in 1977 the technology on board Although state-of-the-art at the time is now considered ancient by modern standards, the engineering team must work with equipment and system systems that were designed and built in the 1970s, which adds another layer of complexity to the problem-solving process. The harsh environment of space also takes a toll on the spacecraft systems. Voyager 1 has been exposed to cosmic radiation, extreme temperatures, and micron meteoroids, certainly. Here's an additional 1,000 words. For over 45 years these factors contribute to the wear and degradation of its components making it even more challenging to maintain and repair despite these hurdles the engineering team remains dedicated to resolving the current issues they are exploring various hypotheses about what might be causing the anomalies and testing potential solutions through simulations on Earth this careful methodical approach is essential given. The stakes involved any incorrect command could potentially worsen. The situation or lead to a loss of communication with the spacecraft, the team is also leveraging the redundancy built into Voyager 1 systems like many space missions Voyager 1 was designed with backup systems to increase its resilience to failures the engineering team may be able to switch to these backup systems or reconfigure existing components to bypass the problematic parts NASA said in another statement that until the cause of the problem is better understood the team cannot predict how. Long the spacecraft will be able to gather and transmit science data nonetheless Susan D. and the engineering team are certain that the problem will be solved if it's something that can be fixed with the axe which controls the spacecraft's orientation and articulation would still make it hard to believe there was a situation to deal with issues that we already face have been quickly refuted by scientists Voyager's ability to function. Depends heavily on the axe attitude and articulation control.
mechanism for starters it always maintains its antenna aimed at Earth so that scientists can correctly receive data. Additionally, it controls how the spaceship is oriented. Engineers keeping an eye on the situations now feel that the axe is functioning as it should which just adds to the enigma we already face. Additionally, none of the safety features designed to shield the spacecraft from danger have been activated according to Susan. D. Project Manager for Voyager 1 and 2 A mystery like this is Par for the course at this point in the Voyager mission, the spacecraft are both about 45 years old, which is much older than what was envisaged in the mission plan. Soon D also acknowledges that the spacecraft's engineering crew will encounter some significant difficulties in resolving the problem with Voyager 1 because of the distance between us and the space probe. The challenges are formidable largely due to the spacecraft being approximately 145 billion miles away from Earth this immense. Distance introduces several complications that the team must navigate carefully. A rescue operation is nearly impossible given the current technological and logistical constraints. Voyager 1 is far beyond the reach of any spacecraft or repair mission that we could feasibly send. The spacecraft's incredible journey has taken it into the outermost regions of our solar system and beyond into interstellar space where it continues to travel further away from us each day messages received from Earth at the speed of light take almost 21 hours to reach Voyager 1's current location. This means that any command or instruction sent by the engineering team requires a significant amount of time to be received by the spacecraft. This delay poses a sub-substantial challenge for real-time problem-solving and troubleshooting. Furthermore, once Voyager 1 processes the command, any response or data it sends back to Earth will take another 21 hours to return. This implies that two-way communication between Earth. And the spacecraft takes an average of two days. Such a delay makes it exceptionally difficult to implement quick fixes or iterative troubleshooting processes which are often necessary. When dealing with complex technical issues, the engineering team must meticulously plan and execute each command anticipating various scenarios and potential outcomes unlike missions closer to Earth where engineers can swiftly send and receive commands. The long communication delay necessitates a more strategic and Patient approach each instruction must be carefully crafted to address the known issues without causing additional problems considering the lengthy time it will take to confirm whether the command had the desired effect. The significant communication delay also means that the engineering team has limited opportunities to interact with the spacecraft. Every command sent must be effective and precise leaving little room for error. This necessitates extensive testing and validation of commands on. Earth before they are transmitted to Voyager 1. In addition to these logistical challenges, the spacecraft itself is over four decades old, having been launched in 1977. The technology on board, although state-of-the-art at the time, is now considered ancient by modern standards. The engineering team must work with equipment and system systems that were designed and built in the 1970s, which adds another layer of complexity to the problem-solving process. The harsh environment of space also takes a Toll on the spacecraft systems Voyager 1 has been exposed to cosmic radiation, extreme temperatures, and micrometeoroids for over 45 years. These factors contribute to the wear and degradation of its components, making it even more challenging to maintain and repair. Despite these hurdles, the engineering team remains dedicated to resolving the current issues. They are exploring various hypotheses about what might be causing the anomalies and testing potential solutions through simulations on Earth. This careful methodical approach is essential given the stakes involved. Any incorrect command could potentially worsen the situation or lead to a loss of communication with the spacecraft. The team is also leveraging the redundancy built into Voyager 1 systems. Like many space missions, Voyager 1 was designed with backup systems to increase its resilience to failures. The engineering team may be able to switch to these backup systems or reconfigure existing components to bypass the problematic. Parts NASA said in another statement that until the cause of the problem is better understood, the team cannot predict how long the spacecraft will be able to gather and transmit science data. Nonetheless, Susan D. and the engineering team are certain that the problem will be solved if it's something that can be fixed with the axe which controls the spacecraft's orientation and articulation would still make it hard to believe there was a situation to deal with issues that we already face have been. Quickly refuted by scientists, Voyager's ability to function depends heavily on the ACTX, attitude and articulation control mechanism. For starters, it always maintains its antenna aimed at Earth so that scientists can correctly receive data. Additionally, it controls how the spaceship is oriented. Engineers keeping an eye on the situation now feel that the AX is functioning as it should, which just adds to the enigma we already face. Additionally, none of the safety features designed to shield the spacecraft from danger have been activated according to Susan D. Project Manager for Voyager 1 and 2. A mystery like this is par for the course at this point in the Voyager mission. The spacecraft are both about 45 years old, 
which is much older than what was envisaged in the mission plan. Susan D. also acknowledges that the spacecraft's engineering crew will encounter some significant difficulties in resolving the problem with Voyager 1 because of the distance between us and the space probe. The challenges are formidable, largely due to the spacecraft being approximately 145 billion miles away from Earth.